Hello everyone, we're going to go over section 9.1, Applications Involving Right Triangles. So let's just start doing some examples. Example 1, use the triangle below and the info to solve the triangle. All the angles are denoted by capital A, B, and the other one's 90 degrees, so it's just there. And all the length on the sides are given by little a, b, and c. Suppose that we're given little a is 7 and big B is 50 degrees. Question is, find the remaining. Find little b, c, and big A. I think the most easiest one is to find the big A because B is given to us and then you know that uh, other side is 90 degrees. So let's first go with to find A. We know that A plus B plus 90 degrees this is all going to add, add up to 180 degrees. So that implies that, let me change the color. If I want to solve for A, B is 50. Okay, so that implies that A plus 140 is 180. So that implies that our A must be 40 degrees. Now let me jot down what we have so far. So we got B was given to us, that's 50 degrees, and then A is 7, and then this angle A is going to be 40 degrees. Okay, now let's try to find little b. To find B, let's just notice that B, little b, is the opposite side of the angle, 50 degrees. So, and then since we're given the adjacent side to be 7, which trig function involves uh, opposite over adjacent? That will be tangent. So do you see that um, this can be solved as tangent of big B? is opposite which is a little b that's what we're looking for over adjacent side which will be seven so this is the formula that we're going to be using to solve for little b so tangent of 50 is little b that's not a six that's a little b over seven so we're gonna definitely gonna use a calculator on this problem so that implies that little b is 7 times tangent of 50 degrees. Okay, so make sure to put your calculator in degree mode. So punch that in. I get 8.34. Okay, so I'm just going to box this for the answer. And we have one more to go for this pr problem. So let's now find to find C. Now little c is the hypotenuse of the triangle. And you're already given the adjacent side to be 7. So which trig function involves adjacent over hypotenuse? that would be cosine. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the fact that cosine of B is adjacent side, which is seven, over the hypotenuse, which will be little c. This is what we're looking for. So let's plug it in. So we have cosine of 50 degrees is seven over c. So that implies that C times cosine of 50 equals to 7. So our C is 7 over cosine of 
50 degrees. Okay, so punch that in the calculator. I get C is approximately 10.89. And that's our answer. Okay, example two. A laser beam is to be directed through a small hole in the center of a circle of radius 10 feet. The origin of the beam is 35 feet from the circle. At what angle of elevation should the beam be aimed to ensure that it goes through the hole? So what I did here was I already drew a picture of the situation here. And excuse my picture, this is the best that I can draw. I know that word problems tend to be scary for some of you, but this problem is not as bad as you think. So the, what the question is asking you is to find the angle of elevation where you should see a little two question marks on the picture. That's all what the question is asking you to find. Let's stare at this triangle for a little bit. So what we're looking for is this angle theta. Now from that theta's point of view, what are we given? We're given the adjacent side of the triangle and the opposite side of the triangle. So which trig function involves opposite and then adjacent? I believe that's tangent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the fact that tan of theta is opposite over adjacent so in this case, we have 10 over 35. Let me try to rewrite that a little bit nicer. So therefore, we have 10 of theta is 10 over 35. Since we want to try uh, to solve for theta, what we need to do is compose both sides by tangent inverse. So this implies that theta is tan inverse of 10 over 35. Okay, so let's try to compute this in degree mode. So please um, put your calculator in degree mode and uh, type in tangent inverse of 10 over 35. And what I got was 15.95. All right, so therefore, The angle of elevation must be approximately 15.95 degrees. And that's all you have to do. And here is the answer. So most likely you're probably worried about uh, what kind of problems to expect on the actual exam. Just make sure to know how to do example one and example two. Now, in my notes, I made a little typo for this problem. I said the tan of theta is opposite over the hypotenuse. So when you see that, please change that to adjacent. And also in my notes, um, I did two extra problems um, involving a little bit more than what we went through with example one and two. So uh, feel free to look at it if you're interested. And then uh, please let me know if you have any questions.